It's my third time to Cambodia in just over two years. This is definitely becoming a part of me. I am still in awe of these people. They endure great hardships, the likes we don't even know. Yet I have never heard anyone complain or ask for anything. June and Mamel are doing terrific work here. We spent several days building a long brick wall to secure the perimeter of the new Wesleyan Bible Institute that KCC is funding. You see, in Cambodia, nothing is built without the security of a wall. Small bricks, laid one at a time, and it was hot, almost 100 degrees every day. We avoided heat stroke by chugging Adam's Ale. <laughs> we joked about the name. It's actually an Australian drink, much like our Gatorade. We had to fell a tree at the entrance to the new Bible Institute. The students are exceptionally resourceful. They cut it down with a small machete. Seemed like clearing a forest with a butter knife. But sure enough, before long, they had pulp to eat, juice to drink, and fiber to make musical horns. Yesterday, some water buffalo decided to see what was going on inside the walls. These buffalo are still commonly used with carts to transport people and goods. Well, after almost tearing down the sides of the pool, we had to chase them away. Water is priceless. It was delivered by special truck, and we needed it for mixing cement, so we weren't anxious to lose it. Driving back to the hotel was chaotic. It's like a meteor storm of scooters and cycles, all vying for the same piece of road at the same time. Can you imagine putting a family of four, or even six, on a little 90cc scooter? We passed by several homes. For many, it's just daily survival. You seldom see doorways that close, or screens or glass covering the windows. In fact, many homes contained a common storefront selling just about the same thing at each. But you have to remember, if they can make just one or two dollars a day, they can feed their families. The students continue to improve their English every year I see them. Their love of the Lord and passion for the Word is so inspiring. Their love for Jesus just radiates as they play, worship, work, and enjoy one another. They are charged up. But they need help. To grow the church, we need trained leaders and pastors, but the financial burden is unrealistic for them. It takes approximately $50 a month to cover all of a student's expense. And health? Some of our leaders have suffered major illnesses and even loss of life because of the lack of health insurance and adequate medical facilities or support. We just heard recently how $20 would have made the difference between life and death. Please pray about these needs. As we left, words couldn't describe the emotions. We all wish that it wasn't so far and that we could stay longer. These are some remarkable young people. I think we all feel that we are ministered to much more by our Cambodian brothers and sisters than we ever could hope to minister to them. I'm earnestly looking forward to our next trip back.